Okay, welcome to this tutorial. Um, we are going to make uh, the game Simon in processing. And well, just take a quick look on YouTube. You find some movies about Simon. Yeah? The device is already 40 years old, almost. So uh, let's see what it does. So what we have is that Simon says something and how can Simon talk? Well, he has the buttons, he has the lights and he makes some sounds and the user has to repeat uh, that. And um, so you, you see that you have uh, well, four colored buttons. So, so let's see if we, uh, what, well, what we need to program. So uh, we go to uh, processing and I made already, well, we have an empty sketch. Uh, the first thing to do is actually to save it. Uh, so I say Simon tutorial, I, uh, I was making already something with Simon zero and I will make a new tab and the tab I call notes. So I can, uh, I, I will use uh, here processing as a little notepad right now. Don't forget the, the, the comment, uh, that you start a comment and close a comment. So let's see. Well, what are the functionalities? Well, well, what, let's start with the interface. What is the interface of Simon? Well, we have uh, uh, four uh, colored buttons. And each button has a light. Each button has a unique sound. We have also a start button, but since we have already a play button here in processing, I just skip the start button. I want to I want to make a really simple version of uh, of Simon. Um, so when you press the start button, uh, Simon talks. So he says, uh, um, yeah, he says one note. He lights up one button. So we have uh, we have that Simon uh, can talk by uh, playing a note and light up. Button. And then the user can give its response by pressing the same button. So uh, user uh, talks back by pressing the button. And then we have light and sound. So you start getting a dialogue then. So then Simon talks again, but he doesn't play one note, but he plays two notes, and then the user has to repeat that pattern. So um, so that's a that's a pattern. But let's see what happens if we uh, if we make a mistake. So if we don't follow the sequence, so if we don't say the same thing as Simon, uh, we have a game over. So in, yeah, a functionality is that Simon can kind of check, uh, Simon can check uh, if the user gives the right answer. And if, uh, if yes, actually he continues here. Yeah? So if I do the first note right, he will continue with the second one. He continues. Continues. How, how do I write that? Uh, he goes on. So, uh, sorry, I have to work on my English still. And if no, um, he stops by playing uh, wrong note and he shows also the light feedback eh? and uh, uh, and light okay so 
Okay, that, that's a bit. So we have a dialogue. The, Simon can check if the user gives the right answer. If yes, he goes on. Otherwise, you are game over. And well, there are some more functionalities that are not visible in the um, uh, in the program uh, or in the video itself, but he speeds up as well. Um, we can check that here because uh, someone reverse engineered the Simon game, so he tear it apart and he really described like how the gameplay is. You have a single player game mode, multiplayer. Uh, so you see that here with the option key on off and you have different modes. The pocket Simon has other, also other functions. So, uh, but we are going to make a simple game. We are going to make the basic functionality of Simon. And the first thing uh, what I'm interested in is, is like, okay, what kind of sounds does Simon make? Because that's kind of particular for Simon. Well, he did a whole, analysis but if you can see that uh, the Simon game is actually based on the four notes of a buggle so that's why the the, the sounds always sound uh, yeah have a certain harmony so it's just like well the notes are uh, uh, um, described over here um, so well these are interesting this is interesting data green has a, a certain note in red yellow and blue so I copy paste this so this is also part of the functionality of the interface, actually, uh, interface. And we also hear that there was a red, or wrong note, sorry. And here they say that wrong is about 42 hertz, but you see the frequencies here are a bit different than what they say over here. So I said like, well, let's stay in the same harmony so we can use the frequency of the G1 node. So I would say G1, and I will pick this frequency just uh, from Wikipedia. You can do the calculations. These frequencies we can use later because we, uh, yeah, I want to use some tone generator or something. Um, okay, so we have some we have some functionalities. So. Button. So, so what are we? How how are we, are we going to start our program? Um, oh yeah, there was another thing that I want to show uh, interface. Another thing I wanted to show because that's also interesting. Um, as the game progresses, the the tones become faster. So that's this the sequence lengths. So I will write that down as well. So from note one to five, the tone duration is uh, 42, 420 milliseconds, 0 0.32 and 0 0.20. So it goes faster and faster. Um, uh, the more tones, the longer you say the right thing to Simon. Okay, first, uh, l let's see how we are going to program. And with programming, it's really important that you take little and small steps, uh, we, uh, baby steps. Um, so because to program the game in one time, yeah, that's simply not possible. So the first step I would like to start with is just to program uh, the user, the interface. So I want to program uh, four buttons um, that, that light up when you press the mouse. Actually, that's already pretty big step. You can say like, well, first see if you can display some squares then maybe if you can change color because you want to light it up so it, you need to have a light color and a dark color change color between dark and light and well another thing what might be interesting is of course to see if you can uh, press the mouse and not only to press the mouse but to press the right button so detecting the button press press the button so then i have already some 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 user input well second step might be that we incorporate some sounds so let's that the button makes a certain sound sounds and i can say like yeah, well, okay, uh, we have sound, but another step might be that we have sound for a certain duration. 
because we say here that, that the tone sometimes takes 0 0.42 seconds then 0 0.32 seconds so you want to have a certain note uh, duration well and th then we have some user input but then then it gets also interesting because we the computer needs to talk Simon needs to talk so how can we make um, yeah, how, how can we make Simon talk because with the with the mouse it's easier I just press the mouse and something happens but how can we how can how can Simon place a sequence or place a tone and another thing what we have to do is that Simon needs to check a sequence because if the user is is pressing something it, it needs to re, uh, needs to repeat as well so uh, Simon checks a sequence okay and then we have to maybe yeah to to have the um, yeah to have the dialogue or something yeah that you say like okay the user um, no we also say like okay Simon checks a sequence and Simon uh, checking the sequence is like also um, playing a wrong note and you need to make sure that when Simon plays the sequence gets longer so Simon plays each time a longer sequence when the user did, did it right so it's really important before you start programming that you think a bit like okay what can be the functionalities and what are the steps uh, that you want to program and yeah I think this is kind of uh, the program um, well for sure we come into some in-between steps later on but this is kind of um, yeah this is kind of the, the, the basic infrastructure so let's start let's start with that